Welcome to Technology Paul. Today we're taking a look at a relatively new search engine on the market and it's all about AI. That search engine is called perplexity.ai and it's trying to bring conversational AI to search engines to make them more useful, intuitive, and personalized. Most people might be familiar with tools like ChatGPT where you can ask certain questions and have a back and forth conversation to help you gather information on the topic. The problem is that ChatGPT doesn't have 100% up-to-date information at all times. To try and solve this, ChatGPT will selectively search the web when it feels it's necessary, but it often gets information completely wrong. These are commonly called AI hallucinations. So that's where perplexity claims to be different. They claim to be better than ChatGPT because they give you more correct information more of the time, and they claim to be better than Google search as well. So let's put that to the test. So let's introduce Perplexity. It's a relatively new player on the market, being introduced in 2022. It was founded by a team of engineers with backgrounds in AI and machine learning. The CEO, Aravind Srinivas, is a former AI researcher at OpenAI. Perplexity AI leverages advanced language models to deliver a conversational experience and provides concise, summarized answers with citations from authoritative sources. Its language processing capabilities are powered by a combination of cutting edge large language models, including GPT-4, Claude 3, Mistral Large, and the company's own proprietary models. Unlike ChatGPT, which only selectively searches the web, Perplexity AI searches the web every time, gathering and summarizing relevant information from different sources to provide a comprehensive yet simple answer, complete with numbered footnote linking to the sources for easier fact checking. It works works by simply inputting a question to start. They provide some generated questions to give you a sense of how it works, and you get a fairly well-formatted answer. It provides a decent amount of details with subsections and headings on certain aspects of your answer. One great thing about it is that it's an LLM, so you can ask follow-up questions, which are kind of like running a new search, but it's all in the context of the previous search. It even recommends a few options for you at the bottom, and you can pretty much just keep the conversation going from there to get more information. Perplexity calls this a thread when you start with one search query and then ask follow-up questions. It automatically keeps your thread history too, so you can always circle back to it later. Plus, you can share the thread with others to provide them with the information as well. If you want to take things further, you can enable Perplexity Pro Search. According to Perplexity, Pro Search is a more powerful search, which can provide longer answers to more complex queries. For example, it can ask you follow-up questions to help provide pinpoint answers. It also considers your preferences that are saved for more personalized answers. The company says this type of search is useful for more advanced research purposes like travel plans, planning, academic research, professional research, and so on. The Pro product costs about $20 per month, and it allows you to do 300 Pro searches per day. You can upload unlimited files for analysis, and you can even pick which AI models you work with. You can choose between the likes of Claude 3.5, GPT-40, Llama 3, and others. On the left side, you get a handy library tab. Within the library, you can see all of your previous threads for referencing back to However, you can also group threads into collections that are about the broader topic you're researching. For example, if you're planning a trip, you can keep all the trip-related threads in one collection, making it a lot easier to find. The same thing goes if you're doing a research project. What might have been difficult in the past in terms of keeping everything organized is now a fairly easy routine. It's a nice touch overall. Beyond that, Perplexity offers a new feature they call Pages. This feature allows users to create shareable web pages on any topic by simply providing a prompt or a question. For example, we could create a page on starting your first vegetable garden. With pages, you just put a title in and then it basically begins to generate a web article for you, complete with titles, tables of contents, and media. This is an interesting tool because it's sort of creating a web page that's meant to be a comprehensive guide on the subject you're writing about. However, you're not the one writing it. Perplexity is generating all of the content based on its web results and the language model going to work. 
work. You can make the page as long or as short as you want. You can have multiple sections. You can ask it to write more concisely or in detail, or you can swap out or add additional photos and media. The one thing you can't do is write any of your own words. When you're all done, you can publish the content and even share the page with others just by using the link. In fact, the most popular pages on the platform get posted to the Discover tab. These pages are generated by users utilizing the AI writing capabilities and web search abilities that Perplexity has. And the Discover tab serves as a feed of all the most interesting news that has been assembled through this process. So when it comes to Perplexity, it raises an interesting question. And that question is, should I still use ChatGPT? After all, a lot of people use ChatGPT like a better version of Google. They ask it questions and it provides answers. And the answer to that question is, it depends. Overall, I think that perplexity takes a slight edge in terms of doing research and asking questions. Generally, you'll often get similar answers between the two systems here. Here I am doing some research on the iPhone 15. The biggest difference is that perplexity offers a couple of additional features over ChatGPT. One is that perplexity is going to leverage more sources and will prominently highlight them for you. So you can go fact check or dive deep into the Topic. ChatGPT does do web searching and it also provides links, but it's just doing less of that generally. Also, if you ask it a more historical question, ChatGPT does not do a web search and instead leans on its knowledge base, which you may or may not be satisfied with. The other thing I like about perplexity is the follow-up question option and not just the option to ask a follow-up question, but the fact that it generates additional question ideas for you. This is a great way to go deeper on a topic when some Sometimes you don't even know the questions to ask. Couple these features with the ability to organize threads into collections and you have yourself a powerful research tool. However, I think if you're actually going to start putting all the content together in terms of writing a document, blog post, paper, or other project, you're better off with ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a multi-purpose tool, whereas Perplexity is a search engine. You can still ask it to write for you, but I think you're gonna get less tailored results and less control Control of the output. And then if you're looking for a more conversational chatbot, it's definitely ChatGPT. Again, it's just less useful to have this conversational style chat with Perplexity. That's because Perplexity is always trying to serve you some kind of useful information from the web, whereas ChatGPT is trying to make its best human impression. Now, I don't personally use ChatGPT in a conversational manner most of the time. I use it more as a writing and research tool, not as a chatbot per se, but I know a lot of people like the conversational feel of ChatGPT and you're not going to get the same experience with Perplexity. To wrap things up, Perplexity.ai provides an intriguing alternative to the more established AI powered tools like ChatGPT and the traditional search engines like Google. It brings a unique blend of conversational AI and real-time web search capabilities, striving to offer users accurate, cited, and organized information. Its features like threads, pro search, and the creation of shareable pages make it a versatile tool for both casual inquiries and in-depth research projects. However, whether perplexity can fully replace tools like ChatGPT depends on your specific needs. For those looking for a robust research assistant that can provide detailed, source-backed information with ease, perplexity could be the way to go. On the other hand, if you need a multi-purpose tool that excels in generating creative content and conversational engagement, engagement, ChatGPT remains a better option in my opinion. At the end of the day, it's about finding the right tool for the right job. Perplexity is certainly a worthy addition to your toolkit, especially if you're frequently diving into research or need comprehensive answers from multiple authoritative sources. What are your thoughts on Perplexity? Have you tried it? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to Technology Paul for more tech videos and reviews. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.